सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री एंड इन यू एच बी थ्री वी आर ऑन द प्रैक्टिस सेशन वी कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज वन एंड नाउ वी आर we have begun exercise 2 observing the self and the body by the self and yesterday we did step 1 of exercise 2 in which we were talking about observing the two realities the self and the body we've heard it many times but to try to directly observe myself as a reality and the body as a reality and we said that i can observe myself that i am there i exist on the basis of observing or seeing the activities that going on within that are going on within myself the activity of desire thought expectation or what we call the imagination so i can see that this is going on within me i can see that i am there i exist i can also see that the body is there and this is by observing you can say or seeing or reading the sensations from the body so the body also exists it is also an existential reality this i can see on the basis of seeing or reading the sensation from the body so the, on this itself was our assignment yesterday that are you able to see you the self that you are there and how were you able to come to this conclusion that you are there are you able to see that the body is also there and how did you come to that conclusion by seeing the body with the eyes or some other way so can you see that you also exist and the body also exists whether your eyes are closed or open are you able to see this so with this um, we can take your observations now what you could observe namaskar madam namaskar to all madam yesterday as you gave the assignment uh, i observed suppose i am doing uh, many activities uh, many things every day uh, for what i am doing to be happy so who is that uh, that is the self uh, then i observed that self is there and uh, for what all these things to be happy and uh, i am i am understanding and uh, i'm i have some uh, what can i say i think i'm thinking and uh, i'm expecting something in that way also i observe observed so different activities so who is that uh, that is a self only so self is there mm-hmm. and you are telling something every day and we are knowing every day our knowledge is increasing who is that uh, who is knowing uh, yes that is myself and i am recognizing also uh, fulfilling like that so and regarding uh, body suppose i am taking bath so to whom i am uh, cleaning to my body so my body is there um i am taking food uh, actually after taking some food i feel uh, satisfied so means oh yes food is uh, some required food is uh, sufficient for the body but the feeling is uh, uh, self only a requirement for the body is limited and uh, it's temporary i feel uh, you know your thoughts you are telling me but how I do you see it. that the body is there body is there i am taking bath so to whom i am cleaning uh, to body only so body no, is there that you are asking that you are again you are talking about it okay but how do you notice that the body is there ah by physical uh, by opening eyes okay my i see my body by okay. closing eyes also i can uh, yeah assume my body i can assume how do you assume assume means i have already seen my shape is there any other way oh um, i touch i touch i sense suppose mm-hmm. if i want to see some objects uh, 
my actually the self is seeing but uh, without eyes uh, I, i am unable to see so who is seeing my eyes are seeing so my body is wait, there wait, 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 wait. without eyes you are unable to see you say see yourself means as it is now in this moment but you just said you said i am there are you seeing yourself through the eyes uh, through the self uh, yes i am there because uh, you uh, answer that question yeah are you seeing yourself through the eyes through the eyes uh, i am unable to see abhi you, self, said you can't see the body unless your eyes are there so you are seeing through the eyes now for the self can you see the self through the eyes uh, madam uh, that previous link you have told that i uh, have unable to listen to you what is that madam through the body i have been unable to wait wait through the eyes are you able to see the self this question i am asking uh, through the eyes i am unable to see the self no i am unable to see how are you able to see you can see the activities that are going on inside no you can see uh, your thought you can see uh, your feelings yeah 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 so you can see those activities yes for yes, those ma'am. activities to see the self you don't need the eyes isn't it uh, really really okay for the body we think that the only way we are seeing this body is because we have eyes yeah yeah madam the gross body uh. we are seeing through the gross eyes Yes, but what madam. is hap- happening in the eyes are the eyes seeing oh no 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 in the body there is a you have read in physics i'm sure ah uh, retina ah uh, the uh, inverted image is formed on the retina ah uh, yeah 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 so is the body seeing or am i seeing i am only seeing through the body through the help as a tool okay how uh, i feel i feel now if your eyes are closed can you still see uh no i cannot uh, directly as okay. it is uh, at that moment okay i will ask you right now close your eyes and take a pen in your hand okay hmm or anything in front of you book pen okay okay madam keep your eyes closed yeah yeah now i'll ask you what do you have in your hand yeah my pen how do you know it is your pen because uh, i have already taken one ren and number 2 no, no 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 directly i can say because i can sense that pen how do you sense you touch oh uh, yeah i touched it that sensation is uh, still is there with me yeah so you are touching it you are making some conclusion even though your eyes are closed you can make out that this is a pen yeah 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 isn't it yes madam how- through the sensation that you are getting from the body oh it? yeah 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 amen yeah, now if your eyes are open mm. and you are seeing that is also a sensation is it not oh uh, another uh, source it is also a sensation sensation yes madam five sense organs no in the body yeah yeah madam we keep saying sense of taste sense of smell sense of touch mm-hmm. sense mm-hmm. so on so yes madam when what you are seeing is also a sense organ you are using in the body isn't it okay so with that sense organ you are making the interpretation ah oh, yes Just madam like when you touch the pen hmm. with the touch you are concluding something inside you no hmm, yes you touch madam the pen hmm. you you know you form some like you touch it and you can make out the shape of the pen hmm. and then you are concluding something inside you that this is a pen ha oh, yes madam isn't it yeah. so same way the the image is forming on the retina but who is who is the person who decides that okay this is what it is this is a tree this is a human being this is the body this is this this is that ah, that, that is doing. self ha ah, that's what so that part should be clear that yeah, is what yeah. you meant by observing mm-hmm. yeah uh, can i add one more madam mm-hmm. the third question you gave can you see that you exist and the body also exists actually it seems 
again it is the repetition yes. but uh, but what i observed for that uh, can you see this even when your eyes are closed like that you are telling uh, you have given the third question mm. uh, uh, can you see that you exist and the body exists then what i thought madam uh, suppose as long as my body is there yes it exists the consciousness exists suppose after death the body is not existing so body exists till death but consciousness what it uh, happens i want to ask you actually so yeah. what is not the body observe directly right now <laughs> so whatever i say you will have to believe it ah yeah philosophy we studied many things but uh, I, I this course uh, you are telling na madam so I, uh, so body is is there right now also it is in space ha 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 body is also in space yes madam okay ha consciousness you can say exists in space body also exists in space hmm 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 saying body is temporary and you you have seen many instances where you can see the changes that take place in the body from birth to death yeah madam and yeah the body dies mm hmm consciousness what are we saying it is continuous we can't make out that continuity but you can get a hint of it through the activities of the consciousness mm hmm activities are continuous my needs are continuous so it gives that impression that perhaps it is continuous Hmm. that you can sort of sense so you can uh, yeah. feel likely we can feel it means you can when you try to analyze it also ha huh. you feel that this is likely because my needs are also absolutely continuous my activities are also continuous so yeah, that yeah. just and i continue to exist so if the body is not there i continue to exist yes uh, like that i can think yes okay okay but directly if you have to see this it will take time because we don't have the competence right now to... ah yes madam really yeah yeah really okay thank you madam thank you yeah good morning ji good morning mai kurun to uh is uh, study i um try to Uh, do this assignment and i felt that actually i stayed a whole day i was feeling low in energy and uh, uh, i observed this throughout the day and i was having uh, in my mind that it is the problem of myself i am not in good mood or whatever but at night uh, i realized that i have been, i have been exhausted exactly and i uh, took a thermometer and i measured my body temperature uh, it was actually below normal 94.5 it was my mouth temperature so i uh, got the idea that uh, actually this was the my this um, i was feeling low in energy throughout the day this was my body body's problem not my self problem so in this way i could realize at night that um, i mean uh, that uh, we are having body also it's not always the problem of self if we are feeling low in energy in energy uh, it may be the problem of body also uh, body related we are analyzing something and coming to some conclusion which may or may not be right yeah yeah is not it yeah now you said that you are feeling low yeah if i was feeling low and this was my Bod body related is my, my body temperature was not don't, normal. Don't, don't just rush to that conclusion. Don't have to conclude okay. anything. Okay, you okay. are feeling low. Huh. Who is feeling low? Yourself or the body? Who is feeling low? No, self, self, self. Self is feeling. Huh. Out of times, there may be something going on in the mind which we are not aware of. Some thoughts mm -hmm. that. may not be able to or we may not have seen directly mm -hmm. so we are not aware and we say you know when we say feeling low what does it mean huh? ma'am actually uh, actually feeling low it means if i was walking i was not at my normal pace i was 
walking um, less means and when i realized why i am doing so i keep my moment of um, um, at uh, uh, at, as usual but this was forceful i i was feeling low i mean this only that uh, i was low in energy energy level see you were low or the body was tired those are two different things now when you club the two now you are not clear what is what okay when you say i am feeling low huh. you are the self or the body you no it self. self i am feeling low it means self 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 but now you have brought the body into it isn't huh. it yeah now we have not clarified it could be the self also we are not sure because we are not able to see our thoughts our feelings isn't it uh, actually uh, i could analyze my thoughts uh, i started throughout the day yeah it may be because i was working on an assignment and uh, it was matlab uh, repeatedly unsuccessful attempts so I, this might be but uh, no, certainly why not if you are doing some experiment and you expect the result to come and it doesn't come yeah yeah that might be one reason yeah, your expectation yeah. is not met so you don't feel good no it may be yes body temperature being slightly low it doesn't have to be associated with any problem in the body as such uh, uh, ma'am uh, didi but um, but i had this problem and since last one and um, half month i uh, i have gone through this and doctor has me suggested me to take paracetamol in such condition also and no, what do you mean what do you mean when the temperature is low you are taking paracetamol yeah actually actually a pain my temp, uh, actually it was my mouth temperature uh, 95.5 it means my uh, underarm temperature must be 94.5 and in, in the actually um, uh, medically it is a hypothermia condition and this is also a not good condition in the body does yeah, not you don't take paracetamol paracetamol lowers the temperature but yeah. lot of times when we are feeling low we may not be aware of what is going on in the self and we try to find the reason in the body it may not be that it may be the self keep it open observe okay okay, okay. thank hello नमस्ते दीदी नमस्ते सभी को दीदी एक्चुअली आई हैव वन डाउट लाइक इफ आई एम क्लोजिंग माय आईज एंड जस्ट सिटिंग क्वाइटली नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग सो आई कैन फील द अवेयरनेस इन द एंटायर बॉडी सो आई मीन आई एम अवेयर ऑफ द बॉडी नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग सो कैन वी से दैट कॉन्शियसनेस इज स्प्रेड आउट ओवर द एंटायर बॉडी वेल हु इज अवेयर ऑफ द बॉडी yeah i am aware i am aware you said i can see the awareness in the body that gives a different meaning to it so if i say i am aware of the body that is a different meaning that means i the self am aware of the entire body isn't it yes no yes yes dear yes. awareness is there in the body that makes it a different meaning can you see that awareness is there in me about the body yes huh? i was thinking like this because if i am just sitting quietly closed with closed eyes doing nothing and if there is something some tingling sensation anywhere over anywhere in the body suppose an ant bites me or a mosquito bites me anywhere in the body so instantly so i can my take my awareness to any part of the body that yes. instant yes yes isn't it you close your eyes i ask you to become aware of your left toe you can take your awareness there yes, i ask yes. you to become aware of your right finger yes right thumb isn't it so yes. yes you can take your awareness 
in any part of the body right the shape of the cell for this and that that we it will just be our imagination whatever we make out but this you can directly observe this isn't it yes so so can we say that consciousness is there over the entire body well i suppose if you say it like this through this you cannot conclude because right now sitting here you can think about say somebody in america you can do that no yes yes does that mean that consciousness is there in america no it's it's here only yeah so uh, so like this if you are concluding you may come to wrong conclusions this is what i am saying okay i am aware But, and the consciousness is also here no then who are you i am the consciousness only no you said i am here and the consciousness is also here yes yes so <laughs> they are not two separate yes. things no yes, i am yes. the consciousness yes baby yes yeah thank you thank you yes. hello hello yes please ma'am i have a basic doubt Uh, mm -hmm. now when we learn uh, literature all they say that self is something different and the consciousness is different so i just uh, got confused with it that is what i just want a little of uh, what what did you say where will we learn no 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 consciousness and self that is the soul what we so, are saying is consciousness mm -hmm. you know this the self is the consciousness okay it is a unit of consciousness mm. and in the self mm. some people call some part a soul some part mm. mind mm. but all of it put together that is the self that is what is being said okay okay that is what i was trying to get because uh, when we lead this bhagavad gita all they tell that our consciousness is different soul is something very pure and uh, we have to listen to what is pure in us yeah so what is that try to directly observe that which is mm. the pure part in you yes which is it which is the soul no but what is that soul what is soul that self in self, self. Now, in the self. self what is that is all the self pure see we are referring we keep saying natural acceptance what is that natural acceptance that part of you that from where you are that pure from where you are getting the answers isn't it mm -hmm. yes ma'am ma'am uh, what we call the pure observer okay we tell that uh, we have imaginations based on sensation imagination based on yes. natural acceptance so we are the imagination based on uh, natural acceptance is the soul and the imagination based on preconditioning or this is this is what happens when you are not trying to observe within yourself now we put some words because we have read something somewhere yes, we have yes, some yes, preconditioning that is driving our imagination we said imagination can be motivated by three sources yes sir yes imagination yes. can be motivated by sensation outside yes hmm? like yes. like hmm. i eat a sweet and i like it i like the taste now i am yes. thinking about eating that sweet my imagination is being driven by that sensation yes sir yes, yes. sweet is not there but i am thinking about it so mm. my imagination is being driven by that sweet outside yes. sensation mm -hmm. that sensation of sweet taste yes yes ma'am yes, similarly imagination can be driven by some preconditioning mm -hmm. i have read in the bhagavad gita that this is what it is so this is what it must mean mm -hmm. i have assumed something mm -hmm. so based on that my imagination is going this could yes. be another mm -hmm. uh, no, source of yes. my imagination but the imagination yes. is in me 
yes the imagination is going on in the what we had colored as yellow if you recall the b2 block yes you recall that no yes ma'am b2 block yes. yes so that part which is going on within the cell this is also mm. a part of the cell okay. this imagination mm. is going on in the b2 block what we are calling the b2 block in the cell mm. and sometimes this imagination part is referred to as the mind mind okay okay some people okay. refer to it mm. as the mind some people okay. refer only to the act, the lowest activity of expectation as the mind some people label the whole of the imagination as the mind but okay. if you directly observe it within yourself then you know what is what hmm? okay the third okay. source of imagination that we said you can your mm. imagination can be motivated by your natural acceptance acceptance yes ma'am what is your natural acceptance that is that pure part within you yes ma'am now yes. that is not in this b2 block that is this in is the b1 block. block b1 yeah? block um, yeah yes. so when you awaken to the higher activities within mm. the cell mm -hmm. then you are able to uh, mm -hmm. see that directly but even yes. without that that mm -hmm. glimpse is there of the natural acceptance so you can yes. refer to it now this mm -hmm. natural acceptance part that pure part pure observer some mm -hmm. people refer to that as soul other people okay. refer to the whole self as soul so even okay. in the bhagavad gita in some places the mm -hmm. whole self mm -hmm. is referred to as the soul and some mm. places only that pure mm. part is referred to as the soul okay okay so you okay. if you try try to observe it within yourself then that clarity will be there but if okay. you read with just thinking about it then it may not be clear does it help okay yes ma'am yeah. okay thank you thank you thank you now we'll come to step 2 observing the interaction between the self and the body by the self so if you ask this question what is this interaction that is there between me and the body if you observe what is actually happening i am giving some instruction to the body and whatever instruction i give to the body the body is doing what i am saying i give only those instructions to the body that i consider to be important so if i want to take some work from the body i give it some instruction like i say get up walk supposing i feel thirst the sensation of thirst so i conclude that i need a glass of the body requires water so i give some instruction to the body get up go pick up a glass take the bottle of water pour the water in that drink the water the body does that if i am not thirsty i don't give that instruction if i if there is uh, hunger then i give a different instruction so depending on what i think is important at a particular time accordingly i give some instruction to the body and the body follows so what is this instruction i am giving this is information you can say isn't it it is just some information now if you look at the body in the body also many processes are going on as part of the body's own self organization many processes are going on in the body the heart is beating no the heart is pumping blood blood is flowing through the arteries the veins yeah air is being sucked into the lungs the breath is going in and out we are associated with the body and that is you know part of the reason these things are going on but we don't have to keep giving instruction 
minute by minute second by second now take breath now do this now beat the heart pump the blood all this instruction we don't have to give so some things are going on in the body as part of its own self organization and these things are going on because the self is already associated with the body so on the basis of that as part of the body's own self organization some things are taking place based on that there are some sensations that are there in the body you can very easily observe when you eat food there are some sensations in the body you can get sensation of fullness if you pay attention if you are not paying attention you may not be aware of it so i am reading those sensations that i think are important and i taste the sensation that i read taste the sensation means if it is the sensation of taste of course i taste but if i see also we are referring to taste means i get a sense of what it is so supposing i have uh there is pain in the some injury is there on some part of the foot i pay attention to that because there is some pain sensation when there is no pain we may not be aware of any sensation we may not be paying attention but if we try to observe we try to pay attention we will notice there are many sensations that are there in the body sensation is also an information that i am reading and i am making out some coming to some conclusion some decision regarding that sensation in the body so if you notice this interaction that is there between the self and the body is only in the form of information nothing physical is being exchanged it's not like some chemicals are coming into me from the body nothing like this is happening i give some instruction that is some information many sensations are there in the body as processes digestion is going on circulation is going on so many things are going on in the body so many sensations are there i read only those sensations that are important for me that i think are important to read right now and this sensation is also an information so this interaction between self and body is only in the form of information any questions about this yeah good morning didi is it audible yes didi yes you are audible yeah that's my doubt is with respect to the how self decides it is important and yeah. is it different for the different selves certainly see what is important to you that only you will know na Suppose, then i think it is it is not uh, decided by the natural acceptance not you can see it won't be no many times it may not be it depends on whatever whatever we are thinking whatever seems important to us so for instance um every day you uh, eat your meal at a certain time hmm? yes yes some sensations are there in the body we may or may not be paying attention to them but the sensations are there every day we eat our meal at the same time some secretion of acid something will be happening in the stomach those sensations are there hunger sensation may be there we may not be yes. paying attention. may yes, or may yes. no today you yeah. have an important meeting and the meeting is prolonged over lunch time now you are not even aware of that sensation of hunger or anything you are busy with the meeting yes you are yes, paying definitely. attention to what you think is important after the meeting gets over perhaps your attention goes to the fact that you are hungry notice this yeah yes didi 
yes uh, that's exact my doubt is related to this by uh, what we are calling as a pure pot for the pure pot whether this is same for all try to see whatever see in the workshop we ask those questions about natural acceptance what is naturally acceptable to you we seem to always get the same answer yes 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 it seems to imply that it is the same for all and you can yeah, ask okay. these for small children you can try out experiment and see you ask these questions what we you know questions we ask regarding natural acceptance you can ask anybody any age any person uh, from any nationality you will get the same answer yes 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 try it out and see yeah nice yeah thank you didi thank you very much madam am i audible yes ha uh, madam actually whenever i feel hungry so uh, that self uh, feels that hungry na madam hunger mm mm-hmm. so i it uh, gives information to the body to take food so body simply takes food by with by hand and all and uh, the secretions uh, also are being secreted uh, by the glands and uh, that is also the information uh, coming from the self and body secretes so finally the thing is that self is the, the only thing which is doing i feel uh, that's why we say the self is the doer ah uh, doer yeah yeah that i feel and uh, the, the, the body as a tool ah uh. body is the, as a tool sir self is the doer self is the seer this is what we say no ha uh, ha uh, madam and so using the body like a tool yeah 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 uh madam one thing uh, suppose if i see a particular object uh, that image is uh, falling on retina and uh, that information is given to the self so how is this uh, body is able to give uh, i mean body part is able to give information to the self is it with the help of self only or is, is it the body of the body? see again we have to see is it the body giving information to the self or is the self reading the information from the body depending on what it thinks is important right mm-hmm. now yeah madam in front of your eyes there may be many things yeah madam you may be paying attention to your laptop or phone which is in front of you but you may not be you know aware of mm, all other things. other things that are there in the room or outside wherever you are mm, madam so the sensations are there but you mm-hmm. are paying attention to what you think is important for you at that time ah oh, really madam really isn't it yeah yeah so sensations may be there mm-hmm. not that the body is giving the sensation to the self but the self is reading whatever it thinks is important mm 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 okay madam okay madam thank you you take a, uh, you know you go out and you see oh what a beautiful landscape and you want to take a picture mm-hmm. in that landscape your focus is on the sunrise mm-hmm. and you are looking at the sunrise the whole thing is there yeah yeah but you are looking at the sunrise mm-hmm. it's almost like you zoom into that yeah yeah because your focus is there now you take a picture of it mm-hmm. now you say it doesn't look quite like as good as when i saw it mm-hmm. right because you are paying attention to the sunrise in the camera picture everything is just you know one whole landscape with everything there it's not zoomed into the sunrise mm-hmm. but your focus was on that and that may have been i'm just giving an example the example yes madam i so can understand notice that you pay attention to whatever you think is important for yeah, you yeah 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 according to my preconditions and uh, all that so you read those sensations only those sensations that are important but many sensations may be there yeah yeah some other self may feel uh, some other is important yes yeah yes yes ma'am thank you madam namaste madam namaste uh, my observe, uh, question is like 
yes we understand that self reads uh, only those instructions which is important to this self, uh, sorry, which is important to me the mm -hmm. sensation is there so if my attention is in some other work mm -hmm. of my interest or some, something then we may not i may not read but sensation is still there yes. i may not read yes so uh, like during some pain uh, within the body something happened or um, i'm unhappy because of because if i lost somebody in family then if i have a right understanding in myself uh, that yes self is different body is different there will be formation deformation then i'll not be unhappy that means then i'll be happy i mean in harmony but uh, we human being will uh, are having will to be happy will to live uh, so we make the program according to that but if in higher activity some time later my attention draws in self then i may not pay attention to some thing going on in the body maybe pain or something is that so madam i am not able to understand your question it is too uh, yes. can you just put it very briefly what exactly is your question um uh, in higher activities or sometime if my attention goes in self what do you mean by higher activities see wherever we are let's try to look from there acha what is your question now if we are trying to see ke when this happens will it be like this will it be like that let's not look at that where we are now whatever you are observing whatever you are facing any problem with that any question there that you ask because in the higher activities also there are many higher activities no Achy. there is contemplation there is understanding there is realization every mm -hmm. higher activity has its own role much and we'll come to that when we come to the lectures ahead mm -hmm. we will do those higher activities in detail mm -hmm. but also, i have a question right now about this what we are discussing all Then, right ठीक है ठीक है all right so ma'am what we can say the self is located where it is located within me who is you self then because uh, just now while answering some question you said yes now draw your attention to the legs uh, to the toes right toes uh -huh. so i'm going there uh, before that my attention was not there mm -hmm. so, so the self, self has the capacity to pay attention to whichever part of the body it wants to acha uh, consciousness the consciousness is looking at the material Mm -hmm. I the self. I am paying attention to any part of the body wherever I think it is important. So because I said those words, pay attention to that part of your body. Your mm -hmm. attention was drawn to that, so you became aware of that sensation there. You may mm -hmm. not have been aware of it before, but the sensation was still there, isn't it? Yes. Yes. that means self is a capability will give the capability to pay attention certainly wow. and it can pay attention to any part instantly mm -hmm. you know this is now when i say draw your you know try to become aware of that part of the body how long did it take you to become aware of that it was almost mm -hmm. instant no yes yes within so instantly the self can so if we directly observe this then there is no doubt in it no okay yes 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 nice ma'am yes thank you uh, namaste ji namaste to all uh, mm. this is my uh, doubt is uh, body is uh, uh, well organized itself mm. yeah it uh, do its uh, whatever 
uh, actions uh, regularly. If I uh, is uh, selfish, if we have some uh, pain or something, is that uh, self is disturbing the body or body itself is getting that? Uh, what is the reason? And also, if age is goes on increasing, body is unable to organize itself or what happens? See, you have to understand the nature of the body. It's a material unit. This we must understand. Isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. this body will undergo a lot of changes during this yeah. process of from birth to death. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. So like in the beginning, the regenerative processes are more. Building yeah. processes are more. Yeah. Huh? So the child is growing. Later on, after middle age or so, degenerative processes are more. Yeah. So the degeneration part is increasing. Yeah. And ultimately, a time comes when the uh, body dies. Yeah. So this, we must understand this. This is the yeah. process. When I don't understand it, then... I am confused. Why is this happening? Why is the body self-organization not doing? This is the body self-organization. It's following exactly the definite uh, behavior. Yeah. yeah. But uh, some people, uh, uh, the body organized very well, even though age is go, come up. But uh, some people, it is not uh, the same. Uh, so, so the reason is uh, self is unable to read the body or what else? Self, lot of times may be interfering with the harmony in the body. Yeah. Body self-organization is such that it tries to keep coming back into harmony. Yeah. At night when you sleep, all the disturbance we create in the daytime, the body is trying to recover from that. When yeah. you sleep. Yes. So the detoxification in the body, those are natural cleansing processes in the body as part yeah. of its self-organization. You don't yeah. have to instruct the body. Yeah. But supposing I am angry. Yeah. Now I am causing disturbance in the body also. So, yeah. Once, twice, thrice, I cause the disturbance, the body tries to get over by its own process of na, cleansing yeah. after some time. But if this is going on very frequently, every now and then, now it will lead to some permanent damage in the body, you know? then the body cannot recover from it. So like that you will find, you know, we are constantly thinking, feeling so many things. We may not yes. be aware that all of this is having some impact on the body. Yeah. So Lina, people, who are, yeah. people who are peaceful, who are comfortable, who don't have this much problem, now their yeah. body may be very healthy. Yeah, I mean, uh, we need to cooperate the body for its uh, organization. We must understand, I would say. We must understand the body and we must participate in taking yeah. care of the body. After all, the body is my instrument. Yeah. If I can see that, I will take responsibility for the body. So I will, you know, with the feeling of self-regulation, I will take yeah. care of the body and I will... Um, give the right instructions to the body, uh, nurture the body, and so on. Okay, if I have uh, some uh, important, very important work to do midnight, uh, and uh, I am uh, not uh, having uh, time to sleep, uh, then uh, it does mean I disturb the body's organization. Yes, of course. We have to realize, and according to that, uh, we have to cooperate the body also, for its yeah. organization. Yeah, see, once in a while, if I do that, like I said, body will recover. Every day if we are doing that, certainly it will lead to damage in the body. Because okay. body is not able to recover from that. Yeah. Harmony. Yeah. Hmm? But early ages, uh, it uh, uh, tends to recover easily. But uh, early ages, ages so yeah. degenerative processes are more. Later yeah. ages, degenerative processes are more. All this, yeah. if we understand, we will... Hmm. Um, you know, take care, take yeah. responsibility. Yes.
but the external uh, world also influences this uh, organization of the body that i feel because what some disturbances and all these that outward disturbances also influence the organization of the body that uh, it is in our hand to uh, see that uh, uh, without disturbing ourselves uh, so that we can uh, operate the org uh, well organization of the body yeah yeah, yeah thank you didi yeah good morning didi that's one question uh, related to this uh, aging of body is there any definite possibility that extending beyond its limitation the life span of the body see you can certainly they say that the average life span of the body should be at least 100 years this is what they say yeah yeah but we interfere with it a lot so the life span gets cut short quite a bit but if you are saying can it continue to live forever certainly not yes that is beyond the capacity of the body no so it is a material unit it will go through this whole process up till degeneration and death yes yes this is the assignment today we have to try and observe the instructions that we are giving to the body are we giving instructions to the body all the time or only sometimes please try to observe this very carefully today are you giving instructions to the body all the time or only sometimes try and observe the various sensations taking place in the body are you reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometimes are you reading all the sensations in the body or some of them and what is the basis that you are on which you are reading these sensations if we discuss this tomorrow we will find different people will may be having different bases for reading the sensations so you will notice that also try to do any activity slowly and observe the interaction of the self and the body during that activity this we have to do entire day to day any questions regarding this this is a very important step because it will show us you know how much the self is involved in this interaction what is the role of the self in this and what is the role of the body in this interaction so until and unless you directly observe it you may not be aware of you know the instructions that you are giving or the sensations you are reading or not reading all that we can pay attention yes so any question regarding this assignment yes please. namaste namaste um so when we are observing uh, this sensation didi so mm -hmm. generally, generally we call uh, we use our five senses but that is for external observation right mm -hmm. so right now i am moving my finger keeping my eyes closed still i can observe that my finger is moving mm -hmm. so this is uh, this is not with the senses as we call um, mm -hmm. right i mean just what yeah you have you know one is the sense organs which are relaying the information of the outside yeah the other is sensations that are taking place within the body yes because of various processes going on in the body right yes so when we are referring to this you no know, reading the sensations in the body we are referring to this the sensations that are going on inside the body Correct. The various processes, right? Yeah, yeah. What we have to observe. And that is observed by self, right? I mean, yes. not by not through the sense organs directly observed by the self. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So thank you very much.